crazy. Psych, what the fuck is that? He gonna eat this cat before we fuck. I don't get no neck. Yeah, we like the women who can support this. We love, we mm. love the women, mm. and Cass apparently loves him too. That there we go. See, that's all right. I feel it. I feel it. They want the head. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, they're they're drinking, drinking, though. Though. They not giving away no head. <laughs> it was though. a sample. <laughs> Oh shit! What the fuck did Sosa get up here? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. This like the one, gang. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. We gon' fuck or not? Rather get my pussy to the realest, so I fuck the Glock. Listen, mm. man. Rather give my pussy to the realest so, so I fuck the Glock. Is Key Glock on the song? Because then that's a crazy bar. He's not. You know he's not. <laughs> yeah. That'd be insane. I ain't going okay. to Key Glock's on actual good songs, man. He's not on. Yo, 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 yo. I want to. Actually, you're right. I'm sorry. Who I'm not, was I'm that? Not gonna say that? Who was yeah. that? Asia. Yeah. I don't. I don't okay. fuck no. Yeah, that's just trash. No, I, like I don't it. think that there's a problem with hey, garbage. female rap. girl? I think this shit was hard, but I'm gonna let you know it's cause y'all niggas like these trash rappers that shit like this gets to where it is. If you feel like that's trash, that's because somewhere down the line you like a trash rapper, you've been boosting up a trash rapper, oh, and shit. they got to this. You trying to talk about Uzi, aren't you? <laughs> you 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 sound like a hit dog hollering right now. I never said Lil Uzi, so no. I'm just saying who's a <laughs> who's, who's a rapper that you yeah. think people are really big up for? Real? If you yeah, think yeah. Lil Uzi is trash, then. Put him no, out. no, but but who's who's a rapper that you think people are really big up for? Real? Well, Lil Skittles like, and Bob the Biddles and all these Lil all these Skittles niggas off of the Double XL covers and all this other stuff. Who was on this last Double XL car cover? I don't know. Damn, the last two. Hell, the last three. The last Damn. four. I think Blueface was on one of them. When you up a nigga like Blueface, that's where we that's go. Really? Where we start this? We'll yeah, say yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is when you when you, more when you elevate a blue face, <laughs> when you elevate a uh, uh, a coil array, when you elevate or a baby a Tron, baby, or a baby Tron, something like that, right? Hey, when you elevate these folks who can't make music, this mm -hmm. is the outcome, for real, for real. Try to Kaiser for another hundred, though. Appreciate that. That's Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, Kaz, you're, if Kaz gets the 10 minute in sponsor that's some shit we have never seen before <laughs> i say that for sure rod wave this is insane I think it's they said that just for you that's crazy. i'm about to say that's an actual artist there no cap they said i said damo loves the trash they rapper. didn't say anything that was one nigga <laughs> what are we talking about oh, oh God. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna say <laughs> they said it there's no they that's they voted damo up best oh, music no. taste and his I, shit is ass too. i ain't seen Crazy. sage love the i ain't seen sage loves the trash rap not be so oh, love the trash rap Niggas literally said corday more people said corday and that was specifically now, for things it's crazy love the trash it's rap the wow no, i'm that they just brought up Omar. baby trying for Omar. I'm just saying. Let's, Omar let's, loves the trash. Only I person who doesn't have a rapper. Up. All I'm saying is, uh -oh. niggas ain't say nobody souls is critically acclaiming. Souls is the only clean person up here, according to the chat. Is this Jalen Brown? I mean, I big up no mirror, so I'm exactly. part of it. Yeah, come on, man. Okay, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. He's he's he signed he's his own. Fucking he's the, yeah, he didn't have to say that. He's the host. He's the host. That's the host. that upper stopper, man. Come on, man. And y'all look at you need to leave. I got like 21 did too. He said that shit was so far. Let me hop on it. Um, yeah. these are some recommendations. Y'all need female guests. Do we? I'm not Would mad. that make you watch more of a game? I'm about to say, you horny, my nigga. It'll make us grow more. Different perspective. Uh, that's true. Watch this. Watch this. Cool. Yeah, y'all saw LeBron just got hurt out indefinitely. How do y'all feel about that impacting the Lakers? I mean, as you've seen, we played just Free fine. Spike. I mean, I'm just saying, we uh, we did pretty goddamn good. Sage, looking like a real team out there. You said you you said what was the question? I thought it was a bit. LeBron, LeBron getting hurt. How do you how do you feel about that impacting the Lakers? Uh, I mean, that nigga gonna be all right in like a week. It just suck every time we turn the ship around, somebody get hurt. But I mean, we're still a better team than we were. Hot take. <laughs> Shit. All we gotta do we're, is still, we're, we're still better. We're still better. We probably ain't gonna be that ass. B souls. Good luck. Wish y'all the best, man. No, we don't. 
Just Rob's got to be healthy for the playoffs. That's it. Yeah, this is why we need a female perspective. This was that was. You asked us a basketball question. No, women don't. Women don't know basketball. So um, ask a question. Women do know. Need Omar to choke on oatmeal. Whoa. Yeah, nah, Vando, Vando, Malik, Threesley. We be all right. We be all right. Um, we need more collabs, more basketball pods, more things. Everyone is pa- er one. My bad. Passionate about. Have Sage give ideas for pods like a rap battle would go crazy and y'all reacting to vids go insane. Y'all to put periods in there. <laughs> Man. Yeah, y'all yeah, not want to see us react to nothing. Stop it. I'm about to say, I say y'all don't. Y'all don't want reactions. I stop that. I think us on stage don't necessarily want the basketball pods, but if it ever came out that I suggested an idea, uh-huh. niggas would trash it for the love of the game. <laughs> do not, we should not do that. I promise you, there's no limit to this right here. That's what we need to do. The bag reviews. Uh oh. Shout out to Jalen Brown today? for the hundred dollars, man. I did. Then I got clapped. Then I got clapped. Oh, man. You did on YouTube. Yeah, they said the the they paused the live stream for copyrighted content. I thought that was about to end the stream like all together, but apparently it was just like a momentary pause. Mm. I should have kept streaming, but hey. The bad yeah. reviews go tomorrow, man. We got to do CJ McCollum and someone else. I'm blanking on them right now. Yeah, you got to be careful on YouTube, young one. Twitch is the Twitch is the one that's like kick when it comes to showing video. But you yeah, started, uh, appreciate it, man. Creator channel to stream basketball? No, not just basketball. I'm streaming everything on there. No cap. I'm a variety streamer. Is there a problem that he's streaming basketball? I was say, it's just, I should, should he not make any basketball content? I can't. Uh, on the crazy yeah, I'm not defending myself. I'm just telling you how it is. No, I'm, I'm streaming everything on there. I'm just. Do you think he should have used the 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 Benji Buckets channel or the Brian Two K channel? <laughs> <laughs> One of the those and Sage channel. I'm not trying to cook. I'm just, I'm just asking. Hey, questions. I'm just asking I'm just, questions. I'm, just, I'm, I'm asking with them. Questions. I'm with Dama. I'm just asking questions. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, so is, no. is the let's talk NBA trade deadline? Then the Russ fans can stop crying. And you break that up, and it's All Star Weekend bag reviews. Break that up, then more bag reviews. Okay. The streets really love the bag reviews. I mean, let I, bag bag reviews. I, I don't they do, man. I don't disagree. I, I would, think after, today, I, I, I would think after people seen somebody say Marcus Smart and Steve Francis got the same bag, they would really be like, <laughs> why are we letting them review bags? But hey, the streets won't Did I say that? Yes, you did. Yes, you <laughs> did. When did I say that? We sat there. It is on my channel still. We sat there and watched Steve Francis bag. And you said, man, Marcus Smart does this. And we sat there and watched Marcus Smart. And you watched him do it. Was a, it was an insane troll. Do, it was always nah, clearly trolling. Nah. Nah, he wasn't trolling. That was, he literally said before we start watching, I'm not trolling, Chad. Mark your smart bag. <laughs> oh, my he God. <laughs> he said that verbatim. That's crazy. I, wa- I walked in there, and I heard, hus, hus, hus. So then I left. But it's because I had something to do. So then I walked back in, and I heard, hus, hus, hus. And then I left. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that is Benji's unofficial way of reviewing a bag. A hus equals a move. So the uh, more us, hustles, us, though. yeah, the more hustles you got <laughs> in your combo, the crazier he's gonna go. So nah, this, we, we this reviewed MJ's hustle. back today. There wasn't a lot yeah, of hustles, to be Mark, honest with you. Yeah, Marcus Smart literally was just oh, hus. He had the ball. He had the ball, and he gave. He said a shimmy. Okay, hus. I said nah. He said he said hus. Huss, I said souls. Good night. Let's yeah. not. Man, I know we work together, but y'all ain't seen nothing. When souls get the ta ta ta, that's how you know it's over. <laughs> so yeah. you when souls hit the ta ta ta, yeah, it's over. Yeah, Harden tried it, but it didn't work. So. Never. Apparently, uh, running full speed, you can't have a bag either. You gotta have a. Bag oh yeah, no moving. downhill. It's never no downhill. downhill. Yep. You have to be literally. Because if it's always downhill, stop, what is there back for? Stop the, like the action, everything. <laughs> run like three plays, and then get mm-hmm. an ISO after you run the plays, yep. and then get into your shit for souls to care. <laughs> if you come up the court, let it be one nigga back court. Oh, this is just downhill yeah. movement. I'm about to say you. You could put play. bro on his ass. It doesn't matter. <laughs> downhill. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Jalen Brown for the hundred, man. Appreciate it. I, I'm glad you and I'm glad you enjoy the content, man. Appreciate it. Man. Oh, it's ninety nine. Yeah. It's ninety nine, ninety nine, Jalen. You can't. This is how much of a song I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. 
Okay. All right, that's all you get. That's how much of a song. Really? Yeah, they gonna, that's a new song. They they'll clap this shit for it. That's a new song. I mean, <laughs> I, bro, it's it's. I we, ain't heard that ever. Yeah, well, y'all, you ain't heard this the, this song. Uh, the Donnie Womack? What? Yeah, hold on. I, I suck when it like the term new, new music. Yeah, yeah, I you ain't gonna like it. Shit. You ain't gonna like it. I never heard, heard that shit. That's like Don Tolliver. Oh man, it is Don Tolliver. Oh, that's Don. Yeah, it probably ain't for me. And not that oh. not that he suck. He just probably not for me. That shit is. That shit is. Hey, I fuck with it. Hus hus, that shit, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let me read some more of these super chats. We got some super caches over there. Let me read one of those. Um, Peanut P says, "F with the LGBTQ LGBTQRS and Hogwarts winning game of the year." They didn't say nothing, bro. I hope y'all know that. Say, yeah, not I, I don't think they did. I don't think they said a word. Niggas made some shit up on TikTok and the world ran with it. This is crazy. We've been them all into one. <laughs> it's like five people. Yo, five the trans community is going crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, damn. A streamer, somebody seen one streamer get five back, like crazy reviews. You really playing this? Hey, the streets is out there watching, guys. Be careful. It's crazy out there if you're playing Hogwarts. Cap for $10 says, this is a super chat. Susan Free. Mm, be free from Susan anyway. Oh, this shit is right. Susan free now. Uh, E3 down sends one dollar says Donovan Mitchell 71 or Damian Lillard 71. D Mitch all day. Don't I know. didn't even see, I didn't even see Dame, so I can't even lie. Don. The conversation <laughs> I'ma just keep it on it with niggas. Look, <laughs> look, look, man. Niggas, niggas will throw the casual shit around like a goddamn virus. I did not see Dame. That's how the yeah, second half of Dame heard about was it wasn't D is an OT. Yeah, I think so. And they needed everybody. Give the yeah, 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 yeah. D Mitch's D Mitch's was the last one since Kobe's where I was like, Oh yeah, you need every single point type shit. I felt like mm-hmm. Dame dropped like a Devin Booker 70. It felt like um I just know a hell of people didn't <laughs> watch it. I just know I was looking on the timeline, everybody going crazy. And after that, you know what? And there's, I now once once I saw game. once I saw 41 oh, at the man. half, I was like, all right, let me tune in. And then they started blowing out the Rockets. So they started benching Dame when he had like, I don't know, like 50, 52. <laughs> the Rockets start coming back. <laughs> and then they put Dame <laughs> back. Let's have let's go ahead and have the conversation since we're here. Cause this is a legitimate question conversation to have um this is from xavier c miller llc twitter extraordinary but nba reportedly lost half of their audience since 2011 and they want viewers to believe it's due to streaming meanwhile the nfl viewership has grown during that time frame instead of keeping it real and realizing the product just isn't high quality for most of the season they rather ignore it uh, because they're still making so much from sponsors. It's only amount of time, it's only a matter of time, before it catches up with them if they don't address the obvious problems the game has nowadays. Where are the numbers to back this up? You know what I'm, saying? Saying? I'm, I'm with Chad. I'm shocked the NFL grew. I'm not I'm saying not. the NFL it, is bad. I'm like, oh, shit, the NFL grew. It, I mean, grew. It might have been a uh, gradual growth. I don't think it was a big boom of yeah, growth yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah. But I can understand it if you're looking at any sport where you're having over eighty something games. Uh, baseball. I'm pretty sure baseball's viewership has dipped because the regular season is so damn long, and people realize, nigga, I don't need to watch all eighty two games. If you tally in polls and you tallying up those random Tuesday nights in November and those random Wednesdays in May, and it's just hella, it's it's hella games. People know, oh, I'm watching the playoffs. Have playoff numbers dipped since 2011? I I wouldn't think so. We can check, and if it has dipped, it hasn't been by much. But I would doubt that. It's just, I don't. I, I'm not surprised if you're comparing it to football. Football has fucking 17 weeks. It's one. You your team plays once a fucking week. And now with this new schedule, you might play once on a Sunday or Monday and then play Thursday. That's the closest you get into a back-to-back. But your team play once a week, bro. It's a People have time to tune in. Niggas cancel church and run out of church early, get work off. Like, they designate that Sunday, that Monday to watch a football. You can't do that with basketball. Niggas play four games in six nights. That's yeah. not good. Yeah, yeah, basically. I mean, the thing the thing is, I need to see the numbers, but just to contribute to the conversation, if the idea is the NBA is dying, uh, 
it, it's in the least raccoony way. It's it's too much in terms of turning into a player's thing. That essentially, when you have players that are uh, that like chilling, and they just like, eh, I'm gonna wait to the playoffs. The fans, as a result, are gonna be like, eh, I'm gonna wait to the playoffs. So it, it's 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 one of those things where yet again, when you become a player's league. It depends how far you really dive into it. I feel like the, uh, one of the main criticisms for Silver, while it's great that a player's league is even a thing, when you dive too deep into it, uh, where it got, where guys can take over teams um, and like literally quit teams damn near at the snap, and now it's just like, oh, well, whole franchise. I, I'm just chatting right now. But tell you the truth, um, what the fuck is wrong with my camera? All right, anyway, f- fuck it. Hold on. Somebody fix my shit. But I just feel like when you dive too deep into players, essentially that uh, if they don't take the regular season seriously, then so can the fuck fucking uh, fans. But my shit is fucking up, and I can uh, I will say this. Just looking at some of the seasons, and I'm going to take 2020 out of it um, for the NFL. The fuck? But it was, it was, at, a, it was at a very high high at um, in 2010. Mm-hmm. And it's dipped and came back up and dipped and came back up, had a severe drop off in like 2017 and then came back up, of course, dipped in 2020, but has been up since, you know, 2017, been on the upward trend back to the, 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 the highs of like 2010, but ultimately, and I guess, let me show the chart. It'll make more sense. I'm going to say, and this is the NBA or NFL? The NFL, the NFL, the NFL. Okay. Average. Average television viewership of NFL regular season games from 2010 to 2021. Now, mind you, these numbers aren't far off, to be honest with you. Like, the, the we're not talking about drastic drops. Why did it drop so much between 15 and 17, though? Did something specific I, I happen? I can't say. Unless... In the NFL? Um, yeah. I would say, if anything, was that not the beginning of those crazy rule changes? I want to go Sage? Check. That's probably around that time, 2015, the, that 2015, 16, 17 area. Was Justin that not Colin when Kaepernick? Mm, Colin Kaepernick happened. Damn, when did Kaepernick happen? That might yeah, be Kaepernick Kaepernick happened because that <laughs> actually might be it. That's crazy. I don't think Kaepernick. No, no, no. I don't think it was the cap. What? Eh? No, oh, no. hold on, no, hold okay, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you Let may not think. care. Hold yeah, 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 yeah. No. I had to that think might about be enough to drop it by one point five because that's how much it no. dropped by. So. No, not even that. I just remember that one. Every time I think about how dumb the NFL fans are, I think about that Titans fan who wrote a complaint about Cam Newton dabbing because her daughter was sad. So I have to remember it's the Tennessee fans, you know, them Texan, them, them real true blue Texan and Cowboy fans. Them niggas might have stopped watching if Kaepernick got here kneeling during the anthem. You're right. It could have been Cap. I think the NBA is missing a, uh, missing. It is missing a face of the league right now, in my opinion. Like a clear face of the league. <laughs> The thing I is, think the so. shit is trash. The shit is trash. I'm just. It's not just on one thing. Limb. It's not just one thing. Dude. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the shit is trash. The shit is trash. And then Adam Silver proposes the 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 overtime fix. I don't know if y'all saw that. Y'all I heard about it? that. Shit crazy. Uh, oh no, that shit is awful. That's what I thought she was gonna talk about. That. Yeah, he proposes oh, some whack ass overtime uh fix. I, I want to get the actual. You know, rule out there. I, I know low a target is. score essentially, like how they do an all star game. It's yeah, so that way players don't have to play the game of basketball. Implementing a target score, um, says that would prevent o- over long broadcast and overloading player minutes, like Los Angeles Clippers forward Kawhi Leonard's playing 46 minutes in a double overtime loss to the Sacramento Kings on Friday. Now, mind you, that marked the the uh, most amount of minutes the most amount of minutes for Kawhi Leonard's entire career that game that happened Friday he ain't called it's kind of normal though how how normal how often are games going to fucking double OT in the NBA this isn't a problem that really needs to be investigated and fixed on I do get that sentiment like it's that was a trash ass like thing to try to throw out there for a new rule but I can't say – I mean, I don't know, man. I just can't say the game is trash. I mean, I get it. I guess it's not I, – I don't know. Is it not – is it not for the casuals or is it too much for casuals? Or is the drop-off because casual fans just honestly don't care about – the they can't get behind all the foul calls and all this other shit that slows the game down? Or is it 
losing hardcore fans because of the lack of defense being played, the offense being that, played, that, that's, the that's way the rules is. and stuff is, like how shit's called one night, not called the next night. Is it that? Like lack of lack of defense, lack of intensity, mm-hmm. lack of care, and then at mm-hmm. any given night, I could miss whoever that I'm supposed to be watching. I don't I don't know who's playing in the NBA tonight, but I can guarantee you it's going to be a name that should not be sitting down. And that that to me is a fan from a fan's perspective. It's just that that's an awful experience. Yeah, that the basketball has a lot of misses that we just put up with because we love the game itself. Low management is awful. Again, not trying to sound raccoony, but it's just, y'all niggas, man. Like y'all, y'all gotta step up, bro. Like imagine you work hard a year year round to finally get that ticket in uh March and then bro sit down at Come on, bro. Like that, like that's different. And you don't even get reimbursement now. Someone commented on the uh, Souls and Sage channel hot takes video on the way. They were literally like, uh, they should get a hundred percent refund. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen, but I definitely think there should be reimbursement for um not even certain number of players, like he said, just certain names, no cap. Or or I should be is. able to change my date. I should be able or to change your date. Yup, or change your date. It's no, it's there's no way. There's no way. Like that's inexcusable. Again, uh, as I said earlier, before my shit started fucking up and I didn't really um illustrate my thoughts well. If essentially you have a bunch of players and a bunch of analysts talking about, oh, well, let's wait till playoff time, let's wait till playoff time. I I guess we'll wait till playoff time. I'm not gonna watch this shit. That hap- that happens a lot nowadays. It's the these these fans are different as well. Some these fans are different. These analysts are different. And they're they're starting to see a lot of this shit is truly ass, bro. I I, I don't. I don't why is Jalen Brown sitting? I, I I wanted to say I, I you go down the schedule, it doesn't matter. Is there a reason Jaylen why Jalen Brown? Yeah, is, is he's there no, he's inactive. He's playing. I'm looking at him being active. Oh, he's inactive right now. Oh, I don't know. He, he was playing last game. I just play a lot of game. I mean, I'm not the low management thing. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just not. It, I'm it's not up. a problem to me. Like, the NBA literally came from a place where it was no real control for the player, and the players is really going out there, putting their body over the line on some football shit. That's taking years off of them. Like, if we want the best product, I understand. I can get teams who are, like, genuinely competing, teams who are genuinely going to be playoff teams, clear-cut, head, like, Clear the pack of the rest. All right, load manage. I start having a problem if we talking about niggas on the magic load management, low managing. Or if we talking about niggas on the Spurs load that, management. That's even worse. If that's even worse. That's worse. That, yeah, that's absolutely. when I start being like, okay, that's that's crazy. Ain't nobody mm-hmm. even paying to watch Keon Johnson, and you got this nigga load managing. That's crazy to me. But the that's to weird. be upset that a nigga like LeBron James or one of the best players on a contending team don't want to play 82 games. Look, I get they did that in yesteryear. They also played in Chuck Taylor's in yesteryear. We don't do that. They also played – there's been plenty of changes to the NBA that have been fine. I do feel like they have to find a healthy median. I don't think it should just be as random and sporadic, and it definitely shouldn't be to the links. Kawhi Leonard has took it in some of his tenures with some of these teams. I will say that, yeah. There are some extremes. But as a fan, you're paying – look, if you're paying three, dollars $400 to see LeBron James, I'm sorry – Tough titty if you if you don't see LeBron James play that night because you didn't buy LeBron James tickets. You bought Los Angeles Lakers tickets. You paid to see a professional basketball team plays. And as far as I know, they don't market, they don't market it that way. And, you can yeah, only that, that's, they, market. Yeah, they do market that's it that way. They, they, they market it. They they market it with their best players as the faces, and that's the advertising. That's the that's the shiny shit. But at the end of the day, the ticket that's how they market it. The, the yeah, ticket is not named. Name. It's not dishonest. Those players on the team. Yamo, dishonest, Yamo, I, want you, I want you. I want you. I want you tomorrow morning to uh-huh. get up. I want you to call to the Charlotte Hornets and and ask them about Lakers tickets and tell me what they tell you as far as who like the 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 lore as to why again. There. But I'm, even I'm like what, what, let's say there's an ESPN game. Bro. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with y'all that. I'm not disagreeing that the players aren't marketed. I'm not disagreeing that there are people who are paying to see these players. I'm not disagreeing with that. But at the end of the day, you did not buy a LeBron James ticket. You did not buy Why Anthony LeBron Davis on my ticket. ticket. Why LeBron on my ticket then? He's the highest paid player in he's the highest paid player on the team. The team markets them. The team markets them. That's fine. But you're LeBron, not paying. LeBron is you're on not my paying your ticket for that. LeBron that that's fine. Hawks. But it's still uh-huh. called an Atlanta Hawks ticket. It's not called a LeBron James ticket. It's not a Trey Young ticket. I, I get it. I understand the problem with how they're marketing it. They're marketing it so you can come see this player and this player don't play. Ah, but if you're buying a LeBron James ticket in LA, 
You got 41 chances to see this nigga play. If you don't play this Wednesday, he don't play this Wednesday, gang. You're not getting your money back. Niggas can say I'm chatting, whatever, until you go out there and you buy season tickets to see Anthony Davis. When you get legit AD fucking season tickets, then we can have this conversation. But niggas at the end of the day are buying tickets to see a professional team play. Unless they are going out there putting a bunch of G-leaguers in in a place that they're starting five, I, bro, you're dead ass paying to see a basketball team. Come to see the game. I like, got that, that's it. If he don't play that day, he don't play that day. Like, that's tough. You're trying to compete. I get it if there's a tanking team doing it. But if we're talking about teams trying to make it, niggas got to play in the playoffs, especially fucking 38. It feels selfish of me to sit here and cry about LeBron not playing in Minnesota on a random goddamn Tuesday in January. Oh, my God. I didn't get to see him play today. Nigga, well, guess what? He's trying to get to the fucking playoffs. It is what it is. It can it can feel it can feel selfish or whatever, whatever you're trying to spit over there. But in the reality of the situation is when you sit back and you look at, damn, viewership is dropping. Everybody's saying the product is watered down. It, it's it's actually tell it, it's, it's sad to see like the parallels between basketball and football, although there are conversations in football spaces about game changing and stuff like that. It is very clear that especially the main figures in basketball media come out routinely, damn near nightly basis. And clown on the state of the game. That's influence. It is upsetting for people who are supposed to be watching the game for this. You already marketed yourself as a superstar league. And when superstars don't play or supposed to be the next superstars don't play that. You said Paolo Bancaro. It doesn't matter if he doesn't play when they play the Spurs. We're supposed to be growing the league as a whole. This is supposed to be somebody's favorite team. He's supposed to be the face of this franchise. But you don't come and play when it's the little people but you always go and play when it's X, Y, and Z big team. I you, you can try to play to the majority all you want, but this is how you get the state of this league right here. I think we're over-exaggerating just how much load management even occurs, though. I mean, aside from Kawhi, I just don't see it happen much for other teams. I looked up the Jalen Brown thing. They said it was for personal reasons, so who really knows what that can be, but hey, I don't think matter. that happens often. Load but I don't, I don't think that happens often for Jalen Brown. I've never heard him been, be, uh, be out for personal reasons. So I'm just giving the benefit of the doubt and say like it's some important shit. Some I'm not, you know, I'm not, and I, I, shit. Again, I'm I truly just a question. Why doesn't why doesn't Jalen Brown why is he playing tonight? But ultimately, it is a problem enough for people to be talking about it. It's a problem enough for people to be talking about it. Whether you say that they're you know overinflating it or you know down whatever it is, but it's a problem enough for somebody to be saying something. It's a problem enough about the way that the game is actually being played for people to talk about it. It's a misstep in the product. I just, I just feel like, truthfully, um, we're we're in a situation where we're just acting like we're we're kind of just putting down obvious shit. No, like, yes, yes, obviously you're buying tickets for a Lakers game, a Warriors game, or whatever. But if you bought a Lakers versus Warriors game and Curry, LeBron, and AD don't show up, and, and you're gonna tell, and, and you're gonna tell that fan that like, oh well, bro, that's what, like, I mean, yeah. Technically, what you're saying is absolutely correct because it's just factually correct. I don't know when my camera keeps freezing, but it's just factually correct. However, the issue is, come on, bro. Like, we, we ain't, we ain't got to play stupid. <laughs> you're going to put a fucking frozen version of me. No, nah, like, we ain't got to play stupid. Like, the old days. like, we, like we, mm. know damn, we know damn well reality is you got scammed to hell, essentially, if you pay. And then Curry, LeBron, and AD are there in 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 the in the fucking arena they're in street clothes you you got you got cooked and this is just it's unfortunate to see especially considering that like a lot of these guys the again fans don't have this infinite supply of money to just fly out to their home games or whatever like you probably won't see bro for an entire year minimum likely most people won't see them ever type shit you had one chance and it's gone because bro just wasn't playing now if we want to talk about in terms of competition, yes, it is beneficial for these players to load manage. That's why it's happening. Is players it, aren't just being players aren't just yes. being. De- oh, oh, it's, de- it's definitely beneficial for players to rest on certain games that don't matter, don't affect seating, all that stuff. It's definitely beneficial for them and their franchise. The issue is then we need to address how we can make it less beneficial because it's still it's still like it like to put it plainly, it's a dick move. And we're acting like it's not a dick move. And I, I don't know why we're acting like it's not a dick move. It's a dick move. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to phrase it. If you're paying to see the Lakers and Warriors and you pull up and AD, LeBron, Curry, and Clay aren't playing, 
tough teddy, nigga. Watch Jordan Poole get this 30. Yeah, watch Austin Rackley. Exactly. And, and if, and if, like, if, I don't know and you, if the bro. response is tough teddy lows, again, that's just a big move. <laughs> like, like, big, that, I mean, like, that's that's my point exactly. Would you, would you, if, if you're like, you tell people that if three right, of us bro. didn't show up to the podcast? That's what I was, that's what I was gonna say, but I had a mental lapse. Yeah, right, imagine for everybody who's saying Damo spit it. Imagine, imagine if, and I know, go. I know y'all swear the TSO lights are zombies, and then I think the Wami War is a zombie. Imagine one day we go live, let's keep it a go, but go live. TSO Sage and Dama are gone, and you had to pay to watch the show. For some reason, you had to pay to watch the show. Aren't you gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, 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 what the, like, what the fuck type shit? And then if Omar Souls were just like, tough titty, we're on the pod too. It, it's, it's like, yeah, they are, but that's a dick move. It, it, if, it's it's just that simple. I mean, if please. somebody if somebody found our podcast through shorts and they seen a short of Omar wilding about Meg, they seen a short about Sage wilding about whatever short went crazy with Sage wilding about something, and they watched repeated shorts of that and they fell in love with Omar and Sage, and that was how they got marketed to pot and they came to watch us. And during that stretch, it's just me and Souls up this bitch because you niggas can't be here for whatever reason. I'm gonna look at and niggas get the complaining, bro. I'm here for where's bro more? Where's bro measy? Where's bro measy? Where's where's wage? You know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna look at the camera and be like, they not here. We're still keeping in the buck though. I feel like these, so these are on, bro. These are different scenarios because we're we're they being are. watched for free, and then the NBA like my folks are paying hundreds of dollars. So if anything, I was just, I was just making an example. I was just making an example. I saw one dude say I'm moving to go plus. I'm staying in the exact same stance. You don't like the example, just take it out. But in I, general, it's still a dick move at the end of the day. That I've, I've said seen, that since the jump. I, I've seen people saying, oh, my God, aren't they just getting – they're getting paid to play basketball, right? I've I seen that comment. Bro, yes, they're getting paid to play basketball, which is why I do agree. There should be a healthy median. I will say there are some players that OD. I'm not saying that is not a problem. I just – don't think it's as big as a problem as people are making out to be. And it's something that is necessary. There's no reason. I don't believe there should be 82 games. If you're a person that believes there shouldn't be 82 games in the NBA season, you therefore you believe in some form of low management. You don't think these niggas should be playing this many games. So as long as they're keeping 82 games, Nick, and I don't think they should play all 82. They should play, in my opinion, around 70 games. 70, 75 maybe is a 75 is up there. But 70 games to me is like a healthy amount of games. Prop, shit, maybe even 65. You Stan don't have to eighty two. Stan Van Gundy. This was a couple weeks ago. Nineties NBA teams had just a trainer and a strength coach. They practiced more often and harder, and played more back to backs. Teams now have huge medical and performance staffs, and value rest over practice. Yet injuries and games missed are way up. Something's not working. Do y'all believe that people be lying about the injuries they have to get rushed? Likely, likely, but I'm not likely, but I'm not G checking play. Yeah, again, it, it, it works both ways. I'm not G checking players. If they say they hurt, they hurt. Now, obviously, there's certain situations where it's like stub pinky out for a week. All right, bitch. <laughs> but like, like tight shit. But uh, in general, nah, if, if I see like LeBron's injury last night, like no shit, he's hurt. But I'm not going to I'm not going to then um, believe every single injury report. It, it definitely it definitely is a thing. I know, I know that this shit, all these compounding things make basketball less interesting. And I'm, I was calling it, I was saying it. Maybe it's I got some niggas muted. I, I can guarantee you, the timeline is just not talking about basketball, care about basketball the way that they used to. Don't you, you got a bunch of motherfuckers? I'm about to say you definitely got niggas muted. I, I'm I about to say folks, I don't know about folks, that. I got folks muted. This isn't just me saying this. If I ever, if, if when I do listen to Steven Jackson and them, when I listen to Quentin Richardson and them, when I listen to JJ Reddick and them, it'd be a quick conversation, but it's always a, you know, this is a problem. It's a problem with basketball. We're just going to act like it's not there. We're going to act like it's not there. You know, we get some more old heads on the platform. We'll talk about it for a second. We'll talk about it for a second. What they always ask them, they always ask the same question What's your opinion on the state of the game? Because they know the old niggas is going to get on a little soapbox. Charles Barkley was just on All the Smoke. They know they're going to get on their little soapbox. And that's when Steven Jackson be louder than whenever he is. Yes. 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 Mm, I, mm, I agree with you, Chuck. That shit is ass. That shit is motherfucking ass. Any other time, though? Oh, man, you know the game. I like some of these young boys a lot. I like it. 
But when they get around their compadres and really have that conversation, it's clear. We can we can not we can continue to act like it's not there though. We can continue to act like But it's I I just find it this I I don't really fuck with these old niggas complaining about shit because that is a consistent it's a consistent theme throughout old nigga history. All complaining. old niggas complain. <laughs> they complain the old yeah, niggas that, of that, when uh, Jordan was playing, when Jordan was playing, old niggas complain about how they played. When Magic played, old niggas complain about how they played. Oh my god, this herky jerk that's shit, man. Played about, no, that is a hundred percent true. It's a hundred percent true. During cocaine basketball, niggas was complaining. Niggas complained about how the about, a certain aspect of the game was being played. It's always been a thing. It might not be was a that large more majority. Are you talking about more race based stuff? It could have been race based. I mean, I'm not talking about something in specific. You can, but you can find something that they were complaining about. My point. My point Will, Will was complaining play. about Kareem playing in the weaker era and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, Kareem I, was I, in his I, I think that there's a different yeah, conversation. I think that there's a different conversation between Will playing, Will talking about Kareem because he knew Kareem challenged his status, as opposed to because they're not talking about nobody specifically. They say Shaq shit talking Dwight. The state of Dwight Howard's been out of the league. For, come on, be you don't see all these older right. guards. You don't you don't hear all the resentment and all these older guards outside of like Gilbert Arenas when they're talking about today's game about how oh man, if I played today, uh, blah, 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 blah. like are they talking about see, somebody Francis, specifically? Do they care? specifically talk about somebody? Now, oftentimes, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's it's hella time. Yeah, like I said, this, I said, up. yeah, th- yeah, this conversation when we're talking about old heads talking about the game. Oh no, nah, Dom, Domo's hundred percent correct here, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's ego. I don't know if it's trying to lift up your status in these talk. I don't know what the fuck it is, but for some reason, nothing a current player does to a, a motherfucker that played a different era of basketball. They just they just can't comprehend anything. They can't give anybody I'm not, any. Credit I'm not saying anything. old niggas don't hate on niggas. That's not what I'm saying. I, what of saying? course, if it always threatens, they'll they'll talk about it. The amount that people are talking about it today, because because social media is out there, we'll we'll chalk it up to that. But again, I'm asking is somebody talking about somebody specifically today? I could understand why Will Chamberlain would talk about Kareem. Kareem challenged his status at the time, right? I can understand why Oscar Robinson might talk shit about Isaiah Thomas. That's because if you look at the hierarchy of point guards at that time, when Isaiah Thomas is creeping up close and they start comparing them, yeah, I'm going to talk shit about this specific guy. But if you're talking about the state of the league as a whole, I don't remember too many people back then that were like that. Even from what I've read, I, you know, I could be not reading the same things y'all reading, but state of the league as a whole is ass. All these this sucks. No defense. This shit is ass. Blah, blah, blah. But, but in all fairness, one I will say that's a large a large part of that is to do with social media and the magnifying glasses that has on opinions. But that just has to do with the fact that the NBA is now in I would say very unprecedented uh in unprecedented lands. The NBA has never been since probably when they first started getting niggas off cocaine. Like this is probably the most offensive driven the league's been in a long time. So now you have probably two generations of basketball players who grew up, who played, who coached a defensive style, a big man first style, and the game is completely switching from two generations of players. So it's going to seem like it's way more. You're going to get niggas from Alex English to Scottie Pippen to Paul Pierce. Three generations of small forwards right there. 80s, 90s, 2000s, all complaining about today's game versus back in, what, 88, when you would just have – Kareem, uh, Wilt, uh, criticizing Kareem, or in '84, Wilt criticizing Kareem. It's just on a smaller scale, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Trust me, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, chat say I'm wrong. I just, in terms of old niggas complaining, it's just gonna be more because it's more. It's it's more for them to complain about, I guess, because of how different the game is being played. You have big men take. You have big men like Joel Embiid, Wimbiamba. I'm not Wimbiamba. Joel Embiid, Jokic. AD, Christian Wood, guys like that playing how they play, that is not normal for big men. They were forced to play a certain way. So you by default have two, three, four generations of big men, they're going to complain. These niggas are not hooping the way that traditional big men have ever hooped, but they're killing it. And that's what kids are seeing in real basketball. In the game? I'm asking you. you think, I think question. it's making – me personally, I, I and I've seen people say, oh, Dom, I don't think anything's wrong. No, there's problems in the NBA. But I think with the skill level that is that is at, I don't think that's a problem. I don't think encouraging your big man if he has the talent to play every aspect of basketball or do everything on the basketball court offensively, I don't think that's an issue. Do y'all, do y'all think the, the league is too talented to a fault at this point? Because yes. a, a complaint, a complaint that I've been making to about the league, not not necessarily complaint, but a difference that I've been seeing, 
is that like certain highlights don't like if they happened 10 to 15 years ago, they would have been like crazy. Like just a simple dunk. I feel like a, a, a dunk was a much bigger deal 10 to 12 years ago compared to now when everyone can just oh, dunk a basketball. Uh, same thing with the three pointer. They but that's the thing that be moving the needles. That's why we need to lower the yeah. goals in the NBA or the WNBA because that simple dunk is the thing that's. Yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, I what actually disagree with that. I think the league is definitely way more talented than it's ever been. Uh, we obviously have that conversation when comparing errors all the time, but um, I don't think that that's the killer. I think the killer is a, essentially basketball has changed to the point where greatness gets normalized. Now, obviously, these players are better, and that does contribute to it. But when you have situations where literally this season, two niggas drop 70 and one nigga drops 60, 20, and 10, like we're talking statistically three of the greatest greatest games for a lot of people in chat right now have ever seen in one season. So it's, two times gonna, until fall. Doesn't, doesn't that aid no, I'm, no, no, I'm saying I'm saying when the game changes to the point where that enables it, I don't I, I'm definitely giving credit to talent, but I don't think it's entirely just one thing. I don't think this is entirely just the talent diff thing. We're seeing guys that we would argue aren't as talented as other greats in different eras. For example, like Zach Levine, a season, granted this season it ain't his, but a season ago or two seasons ago, Zach Levine was like having, what was it, like 27 or 50, 40 type shit. It's like when when the floor is raised, when, when the floor for what is required to put up good statistical numbers is raised, as a result, greatness gets like the ex expectation for greatness gets raised as well. There's certain uh intr intricacies like dunking, for example, where you're right. These dudes are more athletic. The dunks are going to look flashier. The dunks, uh, you're going to have to tighten up. But when it comes to just raw numbers and stats, for example, it's why a lot of motherfuckers don't like the Jokic shit. Because Jokic is spitting out triple doubles on insane efficiency for the love of the game. And it's like a lot of these ooga booga ass niggas, granted, I do think he's that good. But a lot of them are like, Yo, there is no way like there he, like he is he's slow. He's not like you see what I'm saying? So I just think the way the game has changed, it allows these people to just put up these insane numbers that you have to ask if basketball wasn't being played the way it was, would they really be putting up these numbers? I think um it's definitely suffering from an extreme amount of talent, but it's also suffering because Basketball, the NBA is being coached how a lot of niggas claim they want the WNBA being coached. Uh, uh, the NBA is being coached where you are letting your talent be talent for the most part. There are some situations where there's guys like Cam Thomas who are suffering on a bench because there's a nigga getting paid more than them. And that's a problem in itself on how because the nigga's getting paid yeah. so much he has to play. That's trash. But when you have a league where, and I was having this conversation with Sniper Jones on the timeline earlier. Nigga, uh, he's like, oh man, if Dane played any other time than right now, we would consider him the greatest shooter of all time. That's just I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like, Snipe, I, I'm sorry to break it to you. He could have played before him or after him. We're still going to consider Steph Curry the greatest. Oh, it's just because Dame is in the, he, he's in the same league. He's right beside Steph doing it. They didn't do that for joke because I brought up something about, oh, Dane does it and he's a loser. You know me, I call the nigga a loser. Wait, what? How How is it if he played before Steph, we would be considering him? We would still say Steph's the greatest because if you I'm talking about I'm, once you got to Steph, yeah, one, even even if he played before, we would still consider Steph the greatest now because of what Steph's done now. Like if Dame did his whole career in '97 to 2008, we still would say Steph is the greatest shooter ever, and he played the exact same way because of what Steph does. But I was like, Dame's a loser. Um, oh, what about Jordan? I'm like, Jordan was an anomaly. Jordan was doing that shit at the time where it was different and unique. If you look around the landscape of the NBA, there are a ton of point guards that can give you 30 points on any given night. Get to the title an hour and 35 in. This is Jonathan Majors. Bomb, he's a bomb. Bomb. Oh, my God. You have a bomb. Nah, it's different bombs for different occasions. Bro. Come on. He like your bomb better. This uh. is Jonathan Majors. And this uh -huh. is the problem with black men. Already, oh. somebody, she had this message typed. He is not the face of black men. He is just a representation of himself, though. No one's saying anything about Tyler, the creator, when he does sus things already. Who made, first of all, when did you become the designation of who's the face of black men? Woman? What the now, fuck? Now, uh -huh. those, what the hell is happening? You'll keep adding <laughs> this, but the conversation is around the feminization of black men and 
how black men are represented in the media. Um, they always go through these things that you know people call soft. People call women like. People call sus. They they said it was sus. They said it was emasculating, demasculating, remasculating of ASAP Rocky to be behind Rihanna because a man shouldn't be behind a woman. And Jonathan Major is wearing this pink outfit. Shit, that's Rihanna. Yannick's chart. What? Was very, I, very suspect. I, I, I think from, it's from only a problem if y'all man. villainize being feminine. But, uh. I don't see what, what about what we've seen is feminine. I'm trying to find what's feminine about what we just seen. Because it was what pink was, and red, Dom. I'm about to That's say, it. I, I was feminine niggas wearing pink and red? Is it because his legs were crossed? Is that what it is? Was that the feminine? His boots was high. That was the feminine shit? I was telling you goofy <laughs> ass niggas wearing them big ass goofy ass boots. So where are we, what's the, where's the feminine at? Niggas is complaining that ASAP Rocky behind Rihanna? You nigga, I'll be behind ASAP, Rihanna. Yeah, 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 ASAP don't even make a lick of sense. It's clearly, uh, that's a that one piece character. Jazz in it too. That's because you're feminine, dog. I'm so sick of this soft ass, zesty ass, sus ass, faking heterosexuality, faking straight shit. I'm sick of the fucking agendas. I'm sick of the mold and I'm sick of the conditioning, like the feminization of men. I'm, I'm sick of this shit, bro. Exactly. It's all over the place. Wherever the fuck you look, bro. Wherever the fuck you look, like, let me preface this by saying I ain't. I, I'm not talking about the actual gay shit. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the gay influence, the feminization of men, men out here moving like bitches, thinking that it's masculine, bro. Like the eradication of masculinity, the eradication of what the fuck it is to be a man. Dog, men don't move like this, bro. Men don't move like this, and this this is not just some one off, like one instance, bro. Like it's everywhere you fucking look. It's ridiculous, bro. Like one of the biggest stars right now uh what the fuck is his name i just jonathan mayers bro one of the biggest rising celebrity actors right now right he's going he's playing in the new creed he's gonna be an ant man he's a fucking good ass actor bro i posted this shit on my damn story the other day on the community tab dog asking y'all how y'all feel about this bro it's supposed to be a straight heterosexual male i'm assuming like he may be non-binary whatever the fuck i think not i think he's a straight man and we're trying to manipulate what the fuck a straight heterosexual man is supposed to be what's supposed to represent fuck this i don't want my fucking kids looking at this this motherfucker potentially could be a role model someone they could strive to be successful black man now that's literally a magazine cover what the fuck can, can we be honest are we really gonna take the opinion of a nigga who facial hair don't even connect on one side of his goddamn face serious can we be honest right now like like I seen that and tuned the fuck out. Like I'm not, bro. It's literal modeling. That is what modeling. Like I don't know if you're upset about the face he making. It's modeling, nigga. That that's. I don't know if you're only people I can understand disagreeing or being upset is if it was male models coming out being like, yo, this shit crazy. Like back in my game, back in the day, the game was not like this. They blah, blah. if male models are saying that, cool. But if it's random Joe Schmo who's uploading to his hundred thousand subscribers. Talking about some, bro. This is a problem right here. You don't know shit about modeling, nigga. And I'm about to take it back to to what I took it back to a couple pods ago. Me and Sage and this bitch shouting. It is real easy for motherfuckers to criticize some shit they ain't never done before. I promise mm -hmm. you, niggas who don't model or know anything about modeling can sit there and tell you, oh, this nigga holding his holding his face, and now that oh, that's hella zesty. No, it's modeling, gang. That's what it is. Well, he brought up, he brought up other examples because he talked about the All Star Weekend. Um, and how everybody essentially had their nails painted. Um, and then also now celebrity men are wearing purses and stuff like that. That's oh, you mean satchels? Like cowboys used to wear? Fucking satchels, nigga. Cowboys wore satchels. Would you call them zesty? No, they're you not, get shot they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're not satchels. I'm not, uh, they're not satchels. They're I, I need those NBA All-Star Weekend like examples. examples. But a lot of these niggas wearing satchels and fanny packs. Uh, I'll pull up Jordan Clarkson. He, he or man be. bags. I don't know. It's, I mean, maybe we just gotta, you know. Look at you. Well, man bag is. No, 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 no. I'm not saying the the, the bag point. It's just I don't like, get what the. Y'all know this nigga. Let me rewind it back if you missed it. Look at his nails. I can't even see his nails. I can't even. I think see that don't got there. influence. And this ain't just him. This is all of these motherfuckers, bro. All of them, bro. 
I'm watching the All-Star Weekend, bro, with so many grown-ass, masculine-presenting men with fucking fingernail paint on, bro. I saw the video that Wack 100 did asking, like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? Like, why? Listen. Oh, my God. I don't... My question is, why Why not? Yeah. Like, is yeah. it bothering anyone? Yeah. Like, truly? Yeah, that's, that's my Who's thing. Whenever we had topics no, 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 like no. these... Oh, go ahead. Go Rocking ahead. purses. That's two chains. Shannon Sharp, bad, well, bad Bunny, gay as fuck anyway. Floyd Mayweather, bro, out here rocking purses, bro. Purses, dog. Like, that's what the bag. fuck is going that's on? Not a purse. I wouldn't say that's a purse. That's crazy. Kids see Floyd Mayweather rocking the purse, they're going to want a purse. Kids see two chains with a purse and his fingernails painted, they're going to want a purse, get their fucking fingernails so then, painted. And, um, so then be a parent. But At I, that I, point, I, I, where, oh. does, where does the okay. responsibility of parents come in at any of this? Just like I remember growing up, just because Lil Wayne had face tats didn't mean my mom was gonna let me get fucking face tats. Just because my favorite rapper dressed a certain way or wore certain things didn't mean my parents were gonna let me dress and wear that exact same thing because they're parents. Your parents can say no. Now, if your 13, 14 year old is going out getting a job and then buying them nail polish to paint their nails, at that point, nigga, what can you say? They they got it out they they got it out the month by themselves but it's up to you being a parent like i don't i don't get it i just i'll just be blunt i i could even i i don't agree with him let me be clear but i could even see what he's trying to illustrate granted he's made some reaches i can even see what he's trying to illustrate in the sense that yeah some some dudes some dudes is definitely wearing some stuff that's like oh wow well, you wore that type shit I, i'm not gonna play stupid i'm not gonna play pc for the love of the internet like like we we understand that but at every time we had topics like these this is where i get a lot of my hate because why the fuck do we care like like why do you care about how that grown man dressed like i ain't my nigga you gonna check him about it no <laughs> so, so like so like what, what the fuck we going like what are we doing now so like that like that that's 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 my main thing whenever we have topics like this it's like jordan clarkson painted his nails you gotta walk on the court and push the nigga down you're gonna bully him and dunk it give him a wet willy or some shit like what are you gonna do nothing so what are we what are we talking about bro nah sage nah sage it's because jordan clarkson got his fingernails painted so now his son is gonna son. see jordan clarkson and be like yeah, that's who I want to be like, Pop Jordan Clarkson. With his saying, yeah, that's not that's not even how life works. Nigga, acting like it's the Sims. That's that's what I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I I just I I do understand. I'm not playing stupid. I'm not dunking on him entirely because I do understand what he's trying to say. But it's just like, why do you care? Like I like even if he was objectively correct, and let's say the modeling thing was just straight up sussy, a yo, whatever. It's like, well, why do you care, my nigga? Like, hey, that's his life. I, I will <laughs> say, I will say that there is a uh, conversation to be had about you know the ways that like media has strategically, um, you know, gone about. Damn, this nigga Melo did uh, break his ankle. That's tough. Damn. Um, there is a conversation about the way that the media or other platforms have strategically attacked like black men um, and men in general, which is black men in the media. So if you look at a lot of the good father examples, the representation that black men have, you know, um, a lot of these black actors is in a dress. They put it on at some point in time, you know, they, they, they don't present to be good men in the media, they're always beating on somebody, gangsters, thugs, robbing, killing, stealing, selling drugs, all that other stuff like that. Um, so it is hard to find good representations of media. However, old niggas going old nigga. That's all I gotta say. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I guess the only woke thing is this is just another day of uh niggas can't win. Are niggas hoodlums and thugs that dress like very ghetto as fuck, or are they sussy as hell? <laughs> so I, I, it's another episode of niggas can't win. That, that'll be the only uh, woke part I'll say, I guess. I'm just trying to figure out why are we like? I don't understand what the issue is. Like I don't, I'm not understanding what kid is out there looking at Jonathan Mayer as their mm -hmm. like influence. Oh, like I he's a naked. I mean, but the influence to be like, okay, well, you know. He's wearing this flamingo colored leotard, whatever the fuck he was wearing. I want it too. To that level, 
I don't, I, I don't see it. I, I don't. But know that, that's what I was about to say, Damo. E- even if that is like, even if that's you, like the magazine cover shouldn't be like your poster child of what Jonathan Majors is. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it would be like his movie projects will be a better represent representation of what he represents and what he's trying to push for. But, only way that can, only way I can see a magazine cover being your influence is if you're a model or inspired to model. That's the only way I can see you looking at that cover and being like, I aspire to be like this or to do something like this. I'm influenced by this. It's because you're modeling. I'm not, I don't see any inspiring actor being like, oh, he's on the cover just like this. This is how I got to dress if I want to make it. I don't think that's the case. I don't think kids are looking at this like, oh, this is what a black man is on the cover of Ebony Magazine. Yeah, my, my 12-year-old mind is understanding this is the definition of a black man on Ebony Magazine. Oh, kids do not give a fuck, bro. They're scrolling by that shit on TikTok. Nah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing, right? Low key, I give you that. Niggas is dragging it in the sense of you think a kid just Yaku gone. I under like no, that's not. He he don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> he really don't know what the fuck going on. I don't I y'all think that kids don't know what's going on like that? Nah, I'm I didn't saying say that. I said I'm I don't think they care kids. though. I don't think kids yeah, care are, yeah, enough yeah, about Ebony kids. magazine cover as a whole. It might be a small minority or it might be a minority of kids that do, but I don't think kids care enough about the cover of Ebony Magazine and Jonathan Mayers, what he's wearing or how he's presented on a, is what is it? Majors, Mayors, who exactly how much I care. There you go. Yeah, if if funny enough, funny enough, if he were to be making this around Medea or like Prince or some shit, Major. Jesus. Again, I would be able to see what would like I this is just the reach to me. And then even if it was a valid point, at the end of the day. My, I still stand, and I saw someone in the chat say, "Well, he can care. You don't have to." I'm still gonna ask, why does he care? Yeah, I think um, I will say this. I, I can acknowledge that you know he is about to be the next big black star, big black male star. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. I, I can't ignore that. This is the first time hearing his name. So. You, this is the first time hearing his name. Really? I mean, that's yeah. That. That's on you. I'll be tapped in. The first time was when I'm he was not, on I'm not trying Loki. To him. No, 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 no. I understand that. He he's about to be, you know, he's Kang. He's Kang the Conqueror. So he'll, he'll right, be there yeah. for the next decade and a half. All right. Being on it. Um he's in Creed. He's a phenomenal actor, Lovecraft Country. Like, yeah, he he's he's gonna be here for a minute. Um, it's just the idea of painting you know, black men in a, in a different light. I do think that, you know, black male representation needs to be more than what it is. Um, I say this all the time. I like Gregory from Abbott Elementary. Normal dude going through normal problems. He has a normal job, um, trying to figure out and navigate life, whether it's his love life or his career or whatever. Um, Everybody here, Chris? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good character, good black male representation. Um, I think there's some other examples out there as well. However, you know, it wasn't Red Tails. However, there there are still bad representations. I don't necessarily care about this. I think this is fine. Um, you know, he might actively like anime. I'm almost certain he does like anime. I don't think this is bad. Same ASAP Rocky. That one, I don't, I don't wanna. I don't want to. Even, 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 even in the old school, a like don't wear that boy type shit. I don't get the ASAP one, but so because he's behind her. I, yeah, that's feminine, nigga. nigga that's Rihanna, <laughs> nigga. That's no. Rihanna. Like if if we being real, the same way they want us to be, nigga. That is Rihanna. It's, it sounds like <laughs> that nigga. Is what is wrong with what you? Is that? I can't imagine anything he can do for a weekend. I can just imagine people nah, buying nah. tickets to the... Like, it's the Yo. motherfucking Coliseum. Like, all right, bro. No way, though.